Reaction Dynamics was founded around 2017. The company was born out of uh, my second research project at Polytechnic. We managed to solve uh, a 90-year-old problem in the field of uh, hybrid rocket propulsion. Uh, a rocket launch vehicle, 90% of your mass is propellants. It's the fuel and the oxidizer. So if you're burning some of these propellants anywhere below peak efficiency, you're basically carrying a mass that's useless. So this is really one of the key problems for hybrids. Hybrids are a very elegant solution, but if the solution is elegant, but can only run at peak efficiency for 10, 15 seconds, what are they good for? So we developed a new engine architecture that allowed us to run these engines at much longer duration. This allows those technology to be usable for orbital scale rockets and really for orbital rockets. The simplicity of hybrid and the advantage of having a simple propulsion system that doesn't require all the typical complexity of a rocket engine means you're cutting on the cost like dramatically. You can leverage that in your engineering, leverage that in your manufacturing. Typical rocket engine will have anywhere between 1,000 to 5,000 components. Ours, the key component is one component. So right now, if you're a small satellite operator and you want to bring one of your satellites in space, you have the choice between going in a rideshare mission and being a secondary payload, or you can also go with a more dedicated launch. Uh, and then you're going to pay a significantly higher price per kilogram than what you would pay on a rideshare. So what we want to do is offer that taxi ride at the price of the bus ride. So really, uh, what enables us to do so is the use of our hybrid rocket engine technologies using additive manufacturing. Um, it just reduces significantly the cost and complexity of the propulsion systems, which generally drives the cost for the entire rocket afterwards. What led us to work with my HTT and Siemens was uh, we needed to get better uh, tools that would allow us to evolve over time. We just realized we needed a more powerful tool for additive manufacturing, for simulations, and to be able to integrate these different tools together so that the workflow uh, going from design to simulations was just simpler. We've been using NX for the design of our hybrid rocket engines, exported them to SimCenter, and did the thermal and structural analysis with SimCenter so that we could then go back and optimize geometry in the design uh, to make sure that it would be compliant and resist thermal and uh, structural load that would be imposed to it during a rocket engine firing, for instance. We chose SimCenter for our simulations need because of the wide capability the software had. We were not limited into simply having the best solver for a specific thing, we were really able to use that tool with the simulations token to perform all kinds of uh, interlinked simulations where we're not using only thermal simulations in one software and structural in another. We were able to run uh, integrated simulation across all these different fields without having to export from a platform to another it was a huge gain for us. As a startup, you want to be as efficient as you can with the time you spend, with the time your engineer spend doing something. So if there's a tool that can be scalable, that can really make sure that your engineers are spending most of their time doing engineering and not debugging and, and working on, on something that should be working, um, this is really what we liked a lot. And as we continue to grow, we see that, that Siemens has all the, the, the softwares that we need to, to continue scaling up from design, analysis, and now production as we move into that. So my HGT was pretty much with us throughout all the phases. You know, we started from academic, then as we started as a small company, my uh, HGT was there as well, uh, leveraging the Siemens software. And as we kept moving, now we're a bigger company. My HGT is still there, helping make our life easier. In five years, uh, we'll definitely be launching uh, Payloads to Orbit. Uh, and, and our goal in five years will be in a position to uh, push everyone in the industry to rethink launch in a way that can be more sustainable, uh, greener, cleaner, more eco-friendly, uh, and also find ways to add more value to the customer. We can't just keep launching without factoring in the carbon footprint, uh, and I think we hope to be, to be there.